Hey guys, um, yeah, just to sum it up of Telford, um, I came back oh, around about three hours ago um, from what has been an absolutely fantastic day. Uh, the standard of the builds this year have been even better. Um, I was just absolutely mind blown with some of the ideas and the dioramas that are actually there, um, and particularly the Dora 135th gun that I saw there, which was the last item. The size of that thing in 135th is just so impressive. It really is. Um, I think that's one for the future, actually, as I'm going to get a bigger premises. Uh, I think you need to build a spare shed to build that damn thing, but there you go. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I was having a look around all the SIGs and some of the vendors and the stands and three main halls. Sadly, Neil and I didn't get time enough to go and see the competition area again um because basically he was starting to wane and so was i and uh we decided to leave around about sort of 2 30 quarter three really um but the running in the morning was very clear uh, although we did have a slight hiccup um neil unfortunately forgot his membership card for the ipms so we didn't have to queue in um so it was a quick case of darting back to his house in Blackwater, which was about, what, 20 minute, half an hour drive, <clears throat> which I kind of defeated the object of us getting there a bit early, but we, we didn't do it in bad time. And then he discovered all the lights, right, and he didn't want to disturb his partner. So um, I uh, got a bit, we got about halfway at Warwickshire Services. I managed to phone Mike from Mod Art 633 on Messenger and uh, see if he could come up with a suggestion um, and he said he was going to get back to me and bless him he did uh, but obviously by the time he did that we resolved the situation because Debbie in a in a goodness um, after Neil had messaged her uh, woke up and basically rang him back and sent him a picture of the membership card so thankfully the organisers let, let him in um, you know so it wasn't a problem um, but hey, oh, these things happen, don't they? And then I thought I'd lost my phone. Yeah, needless to say, I was having a, a real panic attack when we got to the services station. I thought, oh my God, I lost all my cards, my IPMS membership. And we thought, we're not both having a very good day today, let alone a week. But thankfully, I found my phone and Julie, I'm doing this video. Um, so it was a case of panic over. Anyway, we got there about, what, 25 to 10. So it wasn't bad going. I mean, the roads were extremely clear. Um, we just sailed straight in, got parked up, no problem. And then obviously went straight into the venue, split up for a bit. And then um, he did his thing, I did mine. And met, then I met up with Mike. I obviously told him that we got the situation resolved. And then... Um, I have to say, Mike, some of your builds on your 580 stand, whoa, brilliant. Uh, particularly that little, um, I forgot what they call it now, um, little Russian fight you did for the Spanish War SIG. I've forgotten what it is. My, my head's just gone bleh, but never mind. I'll probably think of it in a little while when I've done this video, knowing me. Uh, but yeah, impressive, mate. And it was good to see you um good to catch up with your dad too and uh also mr gary bottoms came across gary again along with a friend of his and i'm sorry guy i'm sorry fella i forgot your name uh, i think it was steve something or other i'm sorry my uh, i'm just very tired and my, my my brain's just gone brain fart so sorry uh so it's good to see gary um had a little catch up with him and then obviously we all, uh, a few other modellers, uh, Ian from uh, UK Scale Modeler was there, first time I've actually met Ian, so it was good to meet you mate, at long last, we chat quite a bit online, but good to see you in person. Um, also Len Scarvick from Chancellor of Wales, he was there, uh, it's good to see you again Len, um, looking well. And Mark from Armour Empire. Uh, who I haven't seen since my first venture to Telford, which must be, oh God, let me think, six, seven years ago now, when I first got started on YouTube. Um, 
Mitley's YouTube name was under his YouTube channel was under a different name then, but there you go. Uh, good to see you again, bud. Anyway, um, we had a good old chin wag and a catch up. And who else was there? I'm trying to think. Um, I think it was Michael, Michael Model 633, Len. Uh, oh, Steve Rao from uh, Jake Cutter um, channel. It's good to see you again, Steve. And he bought this massive. Hobby Boss 132nd um, Hornet, and he seems to have a thing for Hornets at the moment. And he we're all saying, You're gonna have to buy it, you're gonna have to extend your loft to get that thing built. Because, <laughs> like that, I mean, it's gonna be once he's got it built, I just don't know where he's gonna put it. It's, it's gonna be huge. So, I, I said to him before we all left, I said, Make sure you don't buy another one. <laughs> But knowing Steve, we'll probably get another one. He's probably got another one. But there you go. Um, and obviously Phil Flory. It was good to see you, Phil. And nice to know nice, uh, not you remembered me. So, uh, yeah, I suppose nobody can forget me. But there you go. Uh, you're looking well, bud. And uh, all the team were looking well. Because I bumped into Steve when he was doing his filming for uh, Phil on all the stands. And unfortunately interrupted him. So sorry about that, Steve. Uh, but uh, good to see all the same and all the rest of the Flory team as well um, admittedly I didn't go there to buy anything but um, I couldn't resist it when I got to the Wonderland uh, was it Wonderland model stand because they were doing a couple of good offers um, I was having an R in stuck one on my credit card and the other one on my debit card um, first one was this one which is uh, Trumpeter's Hobby, uh, what am I saying, Hobby Boss? Trumpeter's um, Supermarine Spitfall F Mark 14 fighter. Now, this has got a number of what if schemes because obviously this didn't see operational service and they did a C version called the C Fang, which again didn't get to see operational service. So, I might well do this in the colours of the prototype just to make it more historically accurate, but. Yeah, I might do a quick inbox review on this, but I got this from nineteen ninety nine down to ten ninety nine, so that was a bargain. And the other one, which was the only other sort of purchase I got, was this one, which is um, a limited edition one of their Fixies Club of the Spitfire Mark V Specialist Spitfires. Now I think there's only one kit in it, but two options. You got this one, which is unusually a night fighter version, which was I think was based at Debden, uh, December 1941. And then you got another one, which is part of the ASC Rescue Number 278 Squadron, which was based at Malshisham Heath in Suffolk. So they were knocked down to nine pound ninety nine, believe it or not. So an absolute steal. Um, and the only way you can normally get these is if you're a member of the Airfix Club because they just released limited edition issues of these. But they had a wealth of these there and I thought I can't let that go. So um, that's basically the two pair of shoes I got from Telford this year. Um, but uh, no, it was good to see everyone. Um, uh, the only person I didn't get to see, unfortunately, was Graham from, oh God, what's the name of the channel? Sorry, Graham, I've forgotten your channel, bud. Um, I think we just missed each other because uh, I think he was hovering around the UMP stand. But again, the guys in UMP, Dan, um, Ali, uh, um, Alan, Ali, Ali McNeish, um, and, oh God, I forgot the other chap's name. There was Lee there, which is good to see you, Lee, too, and good old Paul. Um, we had a good old laugh and a chin wag. In fact, we did a cheeky photograph with uh, Dan sitting on Paul's knee. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we had a bit of a laugh. So it was good to catch up with you guys and have a bit of a chuckle. Um one of these years, I'm going to have to spend a wee crazy weekend with you guys. Because uh, like Paul said, that'd be interesting. But there you go. <laughs> um, and the conversation did get a little rude, but I'm not going to go into that for obvious reasons. Um, but Paul being Paul, uh, he's quick off the mark with his humour. And we all were all chuckling our heads off. So there you go. Even including my brother. But there you are. 
Um, and now I haven't forgotten anybody else. I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't think, I think I've covered everybody, to be honest with you. Um, I didn't get to see all the stands, unfortunately. Um, I was going to go and see the time side one, which is Steve's, but obviously with time being of precious tight amount, unfortunately, Steve, I didn't get around to senior club stand, mate. Sorry. Um, I should have taken the opportunity with you and Ian at, at the time, but I was eager to go and have a look at the Vulcan that just uh, was announced, a retool. I have to say, I did have a look at the retool of that Vulcan, and uh, mm, that's definitely on my wish list um for next year um it does look a beautiful retool and not before time to be honest with you um and i would say i had all the current retools there all on the stand including their new armor series which i've been told some of them are um basically they're not brand new molds um they are reboxings of old kits to be honest with you so if you're all thinking there's going to be new molds no uh, some of them are the old Italeri moulds and some of them are the old Academy moulds, but reboxed. Um, all the same, I mean, the ones that were built there did look quite good. Um, especially the Tigers, because you know me, I'm an absolute Tiger nut. Um, so there you go. Um, I must admit, there was one stand where they had an original oil painting of a Dan Buster Lang, which was right up, uh, next to the hk stand uh where they had the obviously the um built um lank with the full interior showing inside both the normal version and the dam buster version and obviously the nose section which looks absolutely superb for detail um that is tempting but i haven't got space here for it to be honest with you probably the nose section but the rest of it it's just too big it wouldn't even fit on my bench um, but even the 132nd B17, that is a beast, I'll tell you. Um, obviously, they brought one out in 148, both G models. Um, but they looked impressive. Uh, and obviously, I had a quick look at the wing nut wing stand with some of their, where the new Gotha coming out. That did look impressive. Um, what else? I saw a very beautifully made... Um, model of the Yamato, I mean, it was huge, I think it was bigger than 1 350th, um, massive, and the detail that had been put into it, the painstaking detail, was absolutely exquisite, um, I had a job to get it all in one shot, to be honest with you, so I had to do two long shots, really, because it wouldn't have fit in the width of a camera um, lens, but there you go, um, what else was there, there was a few, um, sci-fi stands and a few millennium falcons one which was actually sat down there with all the lighting on it on its legs and that was mightily impressive um and i can't remember which club that was uh, but it did look awesome absolutely awesome but i will be posting photos on my facebook page uh, presently or tomorrow night to be honest because it's getting on for well quarter past nine at night now and um I thought I had the day off tomorrow, but I look check me road and I'm back in at nine ten tomorrow, so I think I'm gonna be virtually sucking my head off the pillow after such a long day today. Uh, I mean it was bad enough trying to get up at four, four o'clock this morning on a Sunday, you know, when everybody else is fast asleep in bed. Uh, but I must admit I was surprised the amount of traffic that was on the motorways. I really was, especially for a Sunday, but there you go. Um obviously in between Telford and that but I say Telford itself getting there we just sailed right through and got to the event you know it wasn't a problem to park either so I think from now on if we're going to go to Telford it might be more preferable to go on the Sunday to be honest with you because Saturday is just crazy you know absolute crazy you can't move you know uh, and they were obviously all queuing in even at eight o'clock in the morning you know or even 7 30 in the morning but there you go but as ever, Telford is one of the, if not the, biggest model show uh, on the calendar throughout the year. Um, and if anybody's not been, I I, I would make a point of going. Um, I heartily recommend you go. Personally, I would prefer that you, it might be better to go on the Sunday because it's a lot quieter. 
Um, admittedly, the day isn't as long because they shut at four as opposed to six on the Saturday. Um, and if you want to get in there quick, I would suggest if you're not joined up the International Plastic Modeler Society or IPMS, it's advisable to do so because otherwise you've got a queue up for God knows how long to get into the event. And I'd done that on a previous occasion. Believe me, I was stood there for nearly two hours and that kills two hours every day. Whereas if you get the car through, you just walk straight through. No problem. Um, so there you go. Because it's actually, the show is actually organised by the IPMS anyway. So there you go. Anyway, I've been waffling on for about a quarter of an hour. Uh, I'm going to finish now. I may possibly do the inbox reviews of these two kits, possibly in the week or in the week to follow. We'll see, because from now on in, um, obviously at work, we're building up for Christmas now. So if you don't see many videos, few and far between, that's why. Uh, in fact, they're throwing me right in it on... Tuesday and Wednesday because I'm working till nine o'clock in the evening. Mm. So yeah, that's going to be fun. But there you go. Anyway, I've said enough. Um, as I say, guys, all you met at the show today. Great to see you all again. Um, I hope all of you had such as, as good a weekend as I had a day visiting you at the show itself, and you all got plenty of the, the goodies that you actually wanted. So there you go. Right, that's it, me done. Um, as I say, I'll probably try and do an inbox review either this week or next week of either of these subjects. So until then, get kit crazy, happy modelling, and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers, bye.